Hi guys, this is Holly Inflatable Fanatic, and today I have a really exciting video for you guys. In front of me, I have the Dr. Finkelstein Air Balloon Inflatable. This inflatable is new for the 2021 Halloween season. It's being sold at Lowe's this year, and it's retailing for $109, which is a little steep, especially for a five and a half footer. But it does have a base fan, which is nice. We'll check out the fan once we open it. Um, but yeah, uh, I had a 20% off coupon, so I got this guy down to 87, which I think is pretty fair. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to have this. I can't wait to inflate it. It's brand new in the box, so we're going to be doing an unboxing to this video. So let's take a look of it, take a look at the box, and then we'll get right into it. So here's the front. It's five and a half feet tall. I have our four Christmas logo. This is the box design for the Nightmare for Christmas inflatables for Lowe's this year. Here's the back of the box. There's the nine item number in the top right corner. The barcode with the UPC. The Jemmy logo with the 2021 right there. And this size the same thing. Here's the top of the box. Let's open it up. All right, they pulled this off the shelf, so it is like absolutely brand new. So I'm gonna actually have to cut the camera right here because it is like upside down the box. So I'm gonna have to pull the inner box out and then I'll cut it open. So here it is, let's cut it open. So the Jemmy this year is doing this weird thing with the tape where they're only taping the sides rather than going straight down the middle, which is honestly stupid because they're just wasting tape by doing that. And it's not like it, they're better securing the inflatable or anything like that. Oh, come on. That tape was not my friend today. Alright, so here it is inside. Got your normal steak pack. It goes to plastic steaks and a few straight, straight steaks. Cheap jemmy. Instructions and the inflatable itself. So uh, we pull it out and then we'll get to inflating it. And there it is. So let's get to inflating it and then I'll go into all the details. All right, so here he is, fully inflated. I have to say, he's absolutely awesome. And the size of him is actually perfect for my collection. It's going to be proportional with the mayor, the Oogie, the Jack and Sally I have. So I'm very happy with that. Um, taking a close-up look, here's his face. I love the way the, his lips protrude off his... <laughs> I don't want to call it this, but the only way I can describe it is like a, he has like a snout almost, so... Um, yeah, I like the way it, it, it protrudes off like that because it really gives um, the character life. I love the expression in his eyes. Oh, something fell on it. Um, and I love all the details. The fact that they put the little bolts on his head because, you know, the top of his head comes off and in the movie it reveals his brain. His jacket looks good. I like also the details on that, the little buttons. And I love that he also has his gloves on. And it's not just photo printed, but it's actual, actually shaped and sewed together like that. Um, the pumpkin, I know a lot of people dislike it. I don't mind it. I mean, add some color to the inflatable. But it is kind of annoying because it does cover up his hand like that. And it also doesn't really make sense because he has his stick right here. And that's how he, you know, controls his wheelchair and moves it around. You know, he has two in the movie, one on each side, so it doesn't really make sense for there only to be one. But, you know, that's such a minor detail, it's hard to complain about. Um, oh, that's, that's the other thing I wanted to say. So, on this side, as you can see, the wheel has the lines going through it, and it has the little uh, circles going all around it. The other wheel, for whatever reason, does not have that. It makes no sense why Jimmy keeps out in such in such ways like that like i really don't know why they do that type of stuff but it's really irritating because now you have to display him 
if you want to display him on an angle at a certain angle, it doesn't give you much, you know, option uh, in that case. I kind of like it, the, the, uh, the fan makes his head bobble back and forth. I, I don't know why it does that, but it's kind of cool. I think it's because his neck is so skinny, but it, it's really neat how it, it does that. I, and that's, you know, a little bit of an animation to it. On the back, he has these little wheels that protrude off. That's a minor detail, but they still added it onto the inflatable. So I really appreciate that they did do that. From what I can tell, I think it has about five C7s, one in the pumpkin, uh, three in the body, and I think one in the wheelchair. I checked the fan, it has a YF80 in it, which is actually really good for this small uh, inflatable, but it makes sense for the, you know, the price point this is retailing at. And yeah, I'm overall really happy with this, in this purchase. Uh, he looks just like the character in the movie. Uh, the colors are great, the design is great. I mean, there are a few flaws here and there, but nothing too major, nothing that, you know, ruins the design as a whole. So overall, I would recommend this if you're thinking about picking this guy up. Um, yeah, he's definitely going to, he's going to be using my Halloween display in my Nightmare for Christmas era section, so look forward to that. And that's pretty much all I have for this review, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, look forward to new, more 2021 reviews, which is coming your way. Yeah, that's gonna, as I said, that's gonna be everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Bye guys.